Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another episode of the Outdoor Adventure Series podcast, where we celebrate individuals and families, businesses, and organizations that seek out and promote the exploration, stewardship, conservation, access, and enjoyment of the outdoors. Earlier this year, Uncruise Adventures invited me to join their small ship, Wilderness Discoverer, for a week-long cruise. We spent two full days in Glacier Bay National Park, seeking out the region's glaciers, exploring the shores and fjords of Tongass National Forest and the Tracy Arm Fjord, and searching for wildlife, including bears, whales, mountain goats, sea lions, otters, eagles, and more. This series of short episodes includes interviews with guests and crew who volunteer to share their stories. We hope you enjoy them. And I have the pleasure right now of introducing you to Vincent and Tanya from Ottawa, Ontario. They are two of the guests on the Wilderness Discoverer, and I've had the pleasure of getting to know them. In fact, Tanya basically yelled at me a couple of times, get your camera, Howard, because I have a camera with me. It's got a long lens, and, and here I am just looking out there, and Tanya is saying, get the camera. So I appreciate that. Vincent and Tanya, and tell me a little bit about who was the first one to decide, hey, let's go on a cruise, and let's check out Uncruise Adventures. Uh, I'd say it was me, but I think it was a bit of a joint experience or decision. We we wanted to do a cruise in Alaska, but a small one, not one of those large ships. So I kind of sold the idea to Vince, and Vince did all the research for it. <laughs> what kind of research did you do? I just went online and looked for small boat Alaskan cruises and just compared a few, and then we ended up on Uncruise just because of all the different options and all the different basically tours you could do during the day and the variety of them that yeah that appealed to us that's fantastic now are are both of you kind of uh, outdoor adventurers i mean ottawa ontario it's beautiful and well this time of year it's probably still cold uh but are, are you both uh acclimated to some of these outdoor activities that we are doing today yeah, I mean, we're not hardcore adventurers. We just enjoy being outside, doing some exercise. So definitely kayak. Uh, we always try to hop into one when we have the opportunity or go for small hikes. And uh, it's been great because the activities here haven't been too intense heavy uh, if you don't want it to be. So for me, it's uh, great. Vince uh, yesterday went on the goat hiking tour. So uh, I'm sure he'll have more to say about that. Yeah, speaking of the that hike, and I, I saw another one going off today on up a, a very looked to me to be a very steep hill. I don't even know if it hill is it does its justice, but it was very steep. Did you? How did you survive yesterday's hike? Um, yesterday was I would call it like a moderate hike, but the the hard part of it, you had rubber boots on, and then you were on gravel, so that was. That was the difficult part. You just keeping your footing and stuff like that. But it was fairly steep, but uh, it was it was rewarding because we got to see goats, different birds, eagles, ravens. The views were amazing. Yeah, basically we got to see just a little bit of everything Alaska had to offer. That's fantastic. Now, are you going to do another one of the the big hikes, the all day hike tomorrow? Yeah, we we kind of agreed we would do that just because of the variety of different environments we get to see. The muskeg, what was that river valley? And just a little bit more of the temperate rainforest, which should be interesting. So, Tanya, what do you think about this, this, this day hike tomorrow? Well, I have wanted to do a bushwhack, so I'm excited. The full day bushwhack, however, has me a little, I guess, nervous. Just now I came back from an afternoon nap, so I'm not sure how I'm going to survive a full day out. But I guess once you're there, you just have to get home. So <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I think you kind of rise to the occasion when you come to do some of these. Part of it is a safety mechanism, but, you know, once you're there, just the adrenaline kicks in and, and uh, whoever's going out onto the hike as well, they're your biggest supporters. And I know even when I jumped in the water today for the polar plunge, which we'll talk about in a second, at least people were there cheering me on. It's like, 
Okay, great. <laughs> That's enough. By the way, how was the polar plunge? Cold. <laughs> yeah, it was very quick. Atania got out probably in record time. I think I don't know if her whole body touched the water, but she was in and out before you could even you could even see it. It was a flash. You mean you don't do the the run into the water in Lake Ontario or up in Ottawa? Or, no. Uh, not the run into the lake, but we do have Nordic spas. And so normally you actually heat up very much until the point that you're going to burst. And then you jump into the cold water and it's refreshing. Whereas this time we were kind of sitting on or standing on deck for a good five minutes. And I was considering turning back and maybe hopping into the hot tub first. But uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I'm happy I did it and uh, I'd do it again. That's excellent. Now. Uh, thinking this, this is just day two, officially day two, has on Cruise Adventures, the Wilderness Discover, has it lived up to your expectations? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, they can't control the weather. So, I mean, just that's a bonus. But I mean, all the guides, the staff, super friendly, super helpful. The food's been great. The boat's been great. It, I mean, just an all around good uh, experience for me. Completely satisfied. It's blown my mind. I mean, we were fortunate with the weather, but I was prepared for rain. However, like just the activities and the organization, like Ben said, like it's just been phenomenal. So um, I'm satisfied. You, you told me I'm going home tomorrow. I'd be sad, but yet like so grateful for this experience. That's fantastic. And any final thoughts or aha moment? that you'd like to share with the audience, like the fact that you're here, you're experiencing all that nature has to offer, the, the hospitality of Uncruised Adventures. What's your, been your aha moment since you've been here so far? I think just being able to uh, be with like-minded people actually has been really great. Um, just surrounded by the mountains and the water and I, not an aha moment, but just like a moment. A breathe moment. I appreciate that. How about you, Vince? For me, it's just like every time you look out the window or you look over at the side of the boat, it's just something amazing to look at. And like Tanya said, just puts you into like a you know, like a meditative state of mind and relaxes you. It's just it's nice to be here. That's fantastic. Now, Tanya, I told you this was going to be a piece of cake because I really want to thank you both uh, for joining me uh, here on, on the Outdoor Adventure Series on location from beautiful Glacier Bay National Park in Alaska. And I want to thank the great folks from Arm Cruise Adventures. And folks, if you are interested in cruising, you definitely have to check them out. Again, I want to thank uh, Vincent and Tanya. They've been great and look forward to hearing more of the adventures they're going to have here in Alaska because we, we're not even halfway done with this cruise. So it's been a wonderful experience. Okay, folks, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, go out there and have a phenomenal day. And we will look forward to having you join us on a future episode of the Outdoor Adventure Series podcast. Take care now. To learn more about Uncruise Adventures, visit their website at uncruise.com. You can also learn more on their social sites on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. If you enjoy podcasts devoted to outdoor adventure, Find us online at OutdoorAdventureSeries.com. And remember, we welcome likes, comments, and sharing. You can also find us on our Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube pages by searching for Outdoor Adventure Series. And you can also find us on all of the leading podcast platforms. All the links that we mentioned just now can be found in our show notes for this episode. Take care, and until next time, we look forward to having you join us for a new episode of the Outdoor Adventure Series Podcast.